Hello, uh, everyone. This is a Shadow again with another video. The NASCAR diecast review. Here we got on deck a uh, assortment of 1 to 64 scale NASCAR diecast. I grabbed a bunch of these over the last few months, um, and they've just been sitting in a bag, and I need to, like, open these and, re and um, review them. So... So first off, we got the number six car, Trevor Bain, and the Darlington throwback paint scheme. I picked this up at Walmart. Um, I believe they had an Eric Almarola 43 car for uh, Petty. And uh, I should have picked that one up too, but I don't know. I was feeling cheap that day. Um, so let's take a look first at the info card. Pretty cool. Picture of the car there, the Trevor Bain 6. This is a, the throwback to the Mark Martin paint scheme that he had in the 90s for Roush Fenway. In the back, yeah, there we go, tribute to Mark Martin. I really like it. It's something I remember from my childhood. Not too much fan of the Ford cars, but I think the white sets it off with a nice, nice look as it goes to the blue and red in the back. All right, so uh, here we have the Ryan Blaney 21 for the uh, Wood Brothers. I believe that's his uh, team he drives for. And this is Wave 7, so here you have all the other cars in the back that are available. Um, the hardest one to find was the Kyle Busch, and I never got it, the Skittles. And I think I saw the Martin Truex, but I had this scheme from last year in the all-black Denver mattress one, so I didn't bother to get it. And there's Harvick, Ken's, um, Keselowski, Dale Jr., and um, Chase Elliott, which I might get this one. But I don't think this wave is even available anymore. Like, as soon as they come to my local Target, most of the time is where I get these. They usually sell them for about uh, $5.99 or so. They always are... They always fly off the shelves, at least the popular paint schemes or popular drivers. So let's take a look first at the plastic hood, which is cool. Not something I am crazy about, but here you got the NASCAR Authentics on the back. And it's a pretty sharp looking car, I think, in my opinion. With the red and white, again, on the Ford body. Um, I think the white makes it pop out a little bit more, but really cool, though. The, the Wood Brothers 21, I like the, the gold. Number on the side, the white on the top. It's kind of a simplistic scheme. The yellow uh, Ricky stripes on the back and the left side and the front and the top again. It's a pretty nice, nice car and a card I didn't have. I didn't have a Ryan Blaney car, so I, I you know, added this to my collection. So, all right, so here we go with the KCK number five. For uh, Hendrick Motorsports, this is the uh, Farmer's Insurance 5 car. You got Casey Kane, Newman, Kyle Busch from last year, I believe, because that's the Chase, that's the his Homestead Miami car. The Superman, Batman, BVS cars from California, Jimmy Johnson and uh, Dale Jr. And then we got the Harvick for 2017. I could not find this car. Still trying to get one. The last two seasons now. Take the car out. Plastic. Alright, so here we have a Farmer's Insurance 5 hood. This one's not plastic. You can kind of see. This one's a magnet. You see the back of this is being a little different. So, something I guess it's a little bit more useful. I guess if you're a fan, you can stick this on your wall. Stick this on the fridge. And here we go with the look at the KCK number five car on the Chevrolet body. A little different. I've always been a fan. I like the little uh, aerodynamic sort of like molding there. I'm a fan of the blue and the black. It's, it's a cool paint scheme. I didn't have a KCK car. So, I'm, you know, I'm a, some of you might know I'm a, I'm a big Hendrick fan, but I don't have any KCK cars. So I was like, all right, I got to get one. Since he's one of the teammates. So I, I think right now I just need a Jimmy Johnson now to uh, complete the set. 
we'll stop here and move on to another car. All right, continuing on this NASCAR 1 to 64 scale review. Um, here we go at Ryan Newman. This is a driver for the uh, Richard Childress um, stable of cars in the 31 with the Cat Caterpillar sponsor. And here are the other cars in the wave. So let's get this open. Take a look at it. And here we go. We got the magnet, just like the number five car. Quick comparison to the Casey Kane. It's the same size, I believe. And take a look at the Ryan Newman car. Not really a driver I'm the biggest fan of. He doesn't really win that much. He gets, he drives, he wins poles. He's kind of a hothead. Um, not, not somebody I really care for, but I think it's a cool paint scheme. And it's a, it's a car that's been out there for long enough anyway, that I did not have in my collection. My goal is to ultimately hold a full collection of all the drivers in the field, if possible. For any uh, any of the given seasons, or, or just the paint schemes anyway that I like anyway, I have an Austin Dillon three car, so I just need the twenty seven, I believe, the twenty seven car. Is that Menard? We're gonna stop here and go to the next car in our. All right, so for one driver to the next, we're gonna move on here to Denny Hamlin, the eleven car. Really cool. Um, a a driver and a paint scheme that I've been a fan of for quite a while. Um, I always think these FedEx paint schemes are are different and unique enough year to year that they um, always seem to surprise me and give me something to look forward to. And here we have it at the back. This is from Wave 6, so this is a different set than the other ones. Kyle Busch. We have a Chase Elliott. I think Kelly Blue Book. Uh, Kurt Busch. Dylan here in the three. Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, and Denny Hamlin in front. So a seven car set this time around. In here. And again, as usual, let's take a look at the magnet as the throw-in. So this one's not a car shield, but this is just a kind of piece of the whole car, you know, a whole design. Different than this, less than this in terms of throw in, but I think this is probably better. I don't know. Let's focus in here on the Joe Gibbs Toyota number 11 from Denny Hamlin 2016 version. Really beautiful car. This is the car you won the Daytona 500 in. So here we have just a look at Toyota, which is a different front here with the grill, which I actually like. Um, pretty much the same kind of stock car features with the lights being a little different. I like that too. But I just really like the stripes and the dynamic look of it. We hold it at an angle there in the, in the orange and the black. It looks really good. So we have a few more cars to go into review. All right. So from one Joe Gibbs teammate to another, we keep the review going with the Matt Kenseth 20 car. And this is the DeWalt version from Wave 8. We got the NASCAR hologram. And we got eight cars in the set. And we have some like funny cars here, drag cars or something going on here. That's pretty cool. A Mountain Dew Dale Jr. A Ricky Stenhouse, Sunny D, the DeWalt car right here, the 24, I think Baja Blast, Chase Elliott, the one, Jason, um, uh, Jamie McMurray, there you go, McDonald's car, and the five, get another Mountain Dew car for uh, Casey Kane. They actually indicate, yeah, free magnet, like here, so like, don't don't throw this out, like it's it's part of the packaging. I have the DeWalt 20 logo with the signature of the driver and the number. It's cool. Magnetic material in the back. Somebody could tell me which race he did this in. I'm, I'm, I would have to guess maybe somewhere near around 4th of July or something like that. Because it seems like an American sort of like 
paint scheme. I don't know if you use that, the Daytona race of the 4th of July. This one's interesting with the little like carbon fiber kind of print on the top. There has a little bit more going on with it than the usual. If you look at his usual paint scheme with the DeWalt or the Dollar General uh, paint schemes, this has a little bit more going on. It's involved, even though on the back, weirdly, it still has the, the different yellow, the Dollar General one, unless that's part of the paint scheme here. It's kind of odd that it goes from like mac and cheese orange to like like a sun sunflower yellow kind of i don't know what's that about the left side here right side i should say pretty cool so we got one more car to go and all right not last before least here's the uh jamie mcmurray mcdonald's number one car I believe this is ganassi racing and here we have the wave eight and the corn nascar authentics the free hood i guess in here a look at the car again here's a look at wave eight which we covered over before the nasca logo on the back this time which interesting it's on the other ones was on the front and this is just me opening cars and stuff i used to be a big collector when i was younger of this sort of stuff and this is a magnet. You can throw that on a, on a metal wall. Yeah, again, another driver I didn't have before. You know, Jamie McMurray. You know, nothing special. Good driver. Kind of like mid-tier. I think he made the chase this season. But, um, you know, not one of the major drivers that people know about. Maybe the casual people know about. But he's been there a while. And nice logo, I think. Nice paint scheme. Like, you know, I have a theme with the, all these cars. I like the dynamic kind of swooshing sort of effect. And I like, you know, what it looks like when the, the car is picking up speed and it, the colors transition and it just has something. The yellow, yellow particularly on a race car, it just jumps out at me. So here we got the McDonald's sponsor and some sort of nice swooshing effects. And we got, you know, the names at the top of the driver, his name on top of the, right there above the, on the hood and on the back, V body SS, right side here, pretty sweet. And you can read out all the decals and everything here. That's what's so impressive about these little die casts. Like you can see all the little details that you would see on the real thing if you saw it in person. Scale so small that, you know, it basically fits inside the palm of your hand. All right, so uh, thanks for tuning in to my review. Um, I had fun unboxing, opening all these cars here for everyone to see here. Um, if I had to choose one paint scheme, it's kind of hard. Um, no, no particular order ranking. I, the Trevor Bain six car, um, the, the DeWalt 20 and the, uh, 11 from the Joe Gibbs, Denny Hamlin here. Thanks for tuning into my review. Hope to bring more videos like this now and further into the future really looking forward to nascar season right now we're kind of like in between um you know still getting over the chase and then waiting around until daytona and speed weeks come around until february so but i'll definitely be getting more nascar diecast next season with all the new drivers and paint schemes and stuff that'll be out then subscribe to the channel and i'd greatly appreciate that you know let me know anything i did bad or good i could do more or anything you want to see on the channel that'd be helpful to me so uh once again thank you for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video take care peace